good thing. Joined now by Bassett Bengals head coach Jay Gilbert. Coach, we are less than two weeks away from the start of the season. You've had a number of these seven on sevens. Where is this team right now? Still inexperienced. I mean, we're getting reps, but until you get the pads on, you know, we're really not going to be able to tell what these young guys can do. So hopefully uh, we can just get as many reps in as we can until uh, we start getting the pads on, and then we'll really find out some stuff on that blue orange game. We're playing one of them on the ninth. So um, we'll get to see them in action then against each other. So we're looking forward to that night. If that's the case, what do you gain from something like this? Uh, from the 7-on-7, seven seven, just getting the terminology in their head. I mean, it's, a lot of the young kids just need to know what our formations are, what our motions are, you know, and then we can fine-tune it when we get them in pads. But uh, we do this mainly to get that. We get a lot of our passing again, so that way when we first start the season, you know, we can concentrate on the run and the blocking because a lot of the passing stuff will already be in, and then we just got to wreck it. As a Bengals coach, Jay Gilbert, you look at that blue-orange scrimmage on the ninth. How important is that to give your guys a target for when they can really start to have things down? Well, I'm, we like it this year because we're getting a chance to do it by moving the start date back to August 1st. We haven't had that chance in the past to give them some game action before the Blacksburg scrimmage, which is what these young guys need. They just need reps. So that's the reason we're doing the blue-orange game is to get them more reps. And then hopefully going into Blacksburg, they'll have a little more experience and then we can build a little quicker. It's an abnormally long start to the beginning of the season, the first game coming at the very end of August, practice on August 1st. How does that play in for a team like this with some inexperience? Well, I like it because we still get to start early. And you, you can only practice 20 days. So, you know, whether you start the 5th or the 1st, you still can only get 20 in. So we're starting the 1st so we can give them some time off, maybe get some injuries or something. We can give them time to heal. And So that's the main reason we're starting early is just to – get them out there quicker, and then if we give them a day off, they've already got it in the head. Whereas if we started on the fifth, then they haven't got that stuff in their head yet. So that's the reason we're taking advantage of the first. You've alluded to this already, but the mental part of the game right now, do you have a real understanding of where that is, just given that the pads aren't on and the speed is obviously different with that? Yeah, and, you know, your quarterback's throwing without a pass rush, you know, so... You know, he's, he's going to be a little bit lighter on the foot or going to have to be once the season starts. So, you know, but it's it's still good just to get a football in our hands in the off season. You know, we've, we've uh, had uh, some problems in the past getting them to come, but they tend to come to competition in 7-on-7's seven seven competition. So it's better than just meeting them in the weight room and stuff like that. So very excited about doing 7-on-7 seven seven, but because uh, it gets us together more. Where is off-season participation for this team compared to years past? Oh, well, we've got about the same numbers as we've had. You know, we graduated 21 seniors, and 17 of them played. So, of course, they were in the weight room a lot. You know, they were working hard in the past. So, But we've got a good bunch of young kids that are trying hard, and they're all just trying to filter out the, the open spots and see who's going to, you know, land in those open spots right now. So, you know, the sky's the limit for a lot of them, and then some of them are going to be disappointed. But, you know, it's it's uh, all season's going to play a part, but it's not going to be the only Indicative of what's going on. One area where it's a factor is the quarterback race. As you head into camp on August 1st, where is that race? Well, LoJ and Devontae Jordan both are kind of neck and neck. You know, I've told them, I said, when we get the pads on, get a pass rush, you know, things could change. And, uh, you know, neither one of them's head and shoulders above the other one right now. They both, you know, are still battling for it. They both are getting upset on a daily basis, which is good because, you know, they're making mistakes and hopefully they're learning from those mistakes. You look at uh, at those two guys, clearly they're talented athletes as well. Regardless of how this shakes down, do you guys have designs of trying to keep them both on the field offensively and defensively? Yeah, we're going to have to keep the speed on the field somewhere. Um, you know, Javante Jordan, if he's not a quarterback, he's going to be somewhere. And Lojay's the same way. You know, as long as, as long as they stay focused off the field and do the things right the, the right way, then uh, they'll both see time on offense, I'm sure. Well, we'll see how it all pans out. Good luck and good health at the start of camp, Coach. Thank you a lot. Appreciate it.